All right, guys, what's up? It is Total Boy. It has been a month since Black Ops 4 came out. Man, can, can you believe that? So we got some gameplay in the background here. You can watch this. This is some insane gameplay with the uh, the Hades. And we get we get a load of kills. Eight, 85 kills, I believe, on the slumps. Get turned on, son. Anyways, it's it's been a month since Black Ops 4 came out, right? And the community thoughts about the game are mostly positive from what I've seen. Now, yes, there are many aspects of the game in which multiplayer as well as Blackout uh, that have players scratching their heads in complete and utter disbelief. I'm, I'm talking about that freaking strobe light shotgun, um, uh, some other things as well, but anyways, we'll get to those later. But first, here are the reasons why Black Ops 4 is the first Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, all the way back in 2012, to sort of satisfy the community. Now, now I say sort of, because if you guys remember, if you guys were playing Black Ops 2 at the time of its launch, it was not perceived well when it w first came out, at the time of its launch. Um, the idea of a futuristic Call of Duty set in 2025, as I remember, was unheard of and incomprehensible for people. It took months for the community to truly appreciate Black Ops 2 as a good, well-made Call of Duty. So, to, to start us off, Black Ops 4 is a boots-on-the-ground game, which obviously you guys, you guys can tell. Um, the World War II tried to do this, and while the announcement of the game had the community in complete serenity, it didn't take long after playing to realize it's, it, it wasn't done right, and not how we remember it. So, the game was bleak, colorless, slow, the maps were uncharacteristically, oh my god, can't say that word, chaotic on, on a large scale with zero flow, which made no sense. And uh, like the maps with, with no color, I, I don't know. Well, you guys might have your own opinion about that. Maybe you loved it, but anyways, moving on. The guns in this game are relatively balanced. Now there are guns that stand out like the Maddox, ICR, and SOG are emerging as the top guns for the competitive scene after the first month and let me remind you there are always guns that shine slightly above others and take the top spot as the most usable weapons in the game look back all the way back to modern warfare 3 at the acr and mp7 next year in black ops 2 it was the m8 and msmc and ghost it was the vector remington honey badger the next year in advanced warfare oh i remember this it was it was obviously the asm1 and the bal 27 the following year in Black Ops 3, we got the M8 once again and the VMP. That was that was real fun. I love those weapons. And after that, I didn't really actually play Infinite Warfare and World War II enough to know the dominant guns in the the game. But uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I remember the STG and PPSH being dominant in World War II. Not quite sure. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Whatever the case, the point being here is that there's always guns people prefer to use as the top gun in the game over others. We, we can't stop it and that's perfectly fine. There, there's always going to be something that people prefer and the competitive scene will latch on and, and will lock on to the public lobbies as well and then, then you start seeing it which is what we got going with like the Maddox right now. It's not that it's that insane. It is a good gun, you, you know, but it's not like it's completely overpowered or anything. So. Um, in the last update, they did slightly buff the SMGs to compete more closely with the AR dominant meta in this game to even it out more, which is good. Continuing with multiplayer, some more things are how beastly most of the sco score streaks in this game are. Like, can we all just agree that they, they do massive work? Massive! And when I call in my sniper's nest alongside a drone squad and, and strike team, it's incredible how many kills they get me like you'll see in this gameplay it is insane i get i get so many kills with score streaks in this so you you get those and then they do work it's so fun um you, you never like call of duties that have underpowered score streaks they, they don't do anything you know so the effect of kill streaks is definitely a plus for the black ops 4 and uh let's move on to the not so fun parts about multiplayer first and foremost i already mentioned it uh the freaking strobe light shotgun mod this thing is absolutely ridiculous, and yes, I, I, I know they just nerfed it as well, but it's still not nearly enough. The fact that the light removes the enemy's auto-aim is completely unnecessary, and on top of that, you physically cannot see anything, anything, when it's being used on you. And I know some of you guys will be like, hey, get, get better, you must not be good if you can't kill them. Well, well obviously, I, I just suck, apparently. 
I don't even want to hear it. I, I don't remember a, last, a game in the last two weeks in which I wasn't top my team or winning a free-for-all. Just, just saying, you know, not to brag or anything. But you'll see this game as well. <laughs> the, the humble self that I always am, apparently. Anyways, while that is definitely the most annoying thing in the game at the moment, the Spitfire operating mod is also incredible. It shoots so fast, I don't even I don't even know what to think. I don't know what hit him. Uh, this this one isn't as bad, and I can deal with it. You, you know, a lot of the mo operating mods are more annoying than they are just like... I, I guess they're helpful in certain situations, but they're, they're really annoying. And as far as I've seen, the main issue regarding multiplayer is a combination of a few things. So, num number one, the time to kill, which isn't as bad um, as in the beta. I feel like people have gotten used to it, and it's not as, not as bad as they thought. If you go back to Black Ops 3, though, you, you completely melt because the time to kill is so much lower. And I, f I feel like my aim's gotten better with the increased health, having to aim at the enemies longer and track their movements to actually kill them. So, not too much of a problem with that. But the bomb body armor. <laughs> no, 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 no. This should be taken out of the game right now. At least, at least in multiplayer. Someone should not get an extra boost of health every life that can help them survive an extra bullet or two which is unacceptable. And Blackout, I can see this as being completely fine because if not for the armor in the Battle Royale, the, the time to kill would just be simply too low. Like, you know, Fortnite, you get you get the, what, what are they called, shields? And it's like an extra little health. Like, the, the armor in Black Ops 4, Blackout, it's, it's an extra health. You, you know, that's, that's completely fine. Anyway, um, next is the Specialist. While, while Ajax Shield and the Nine Bang have been nerfed in the last update, those are definitely the two most annoying to come across, especially the Nine Bang. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. On the other hand, Nomad's tripwires are a pain if you don't run Engineer, and Seraph's Tactiploy can make or break a domination game, giving your team the edge with a, with a good spawn if used correctly. This can be very frustrating if you're on the other side of it, though. Um, besides those, I feel like the rest of the specialists are quite balanced and work well into the game. Yes, it, it, it can be chaotic on small maps with everybody using them, especially Nuketown now that they added it, but it's by no means game breaking. In Black Ops 3 they made it work beautifully, and while I don't like the specialists as much in Black Ops 4 as compared to Black Ops 3, they're, they're still fun to use. As far as Blackout, I don't think I'll go into that today. If you guys would want a video about the ups and downs of Blackouts, I can do that. But uh, I just I think I need some more time to play that to be able to fully understand what's going on with that. As I've experienced so far, it's extremely fun to play with a squad, and using certain guns to their advantages is a good aspect of the game mode. Like using the ABR, the AUG from Black Ops 1 at long range, that thing is insane and using, say, a Spitfire up close is also um, definitely the way to go. You don't, you don't want to be shooting somebody with a, with a swordfish at five meters away, you know. So I feel like that's, that's just self-explanatory. That's what a Battle Royale looks like, at least. I haven't ever played PUBG, but in Fortnite, you know, up close, you use an SMG. Uh, far away, you use a, a sword rifle, you know. It's, it's just simple stuff like that. Now, there's not, like, uncommon, common, rare weapons in blackout although there are those gold weapons that have all the attachments on it i really like the way they've done it um so i said i, I wasn't gonna get into blackout but here i am here i am talking about it anyways um i think we're about we're about done with that though guys i think i have mentioned the uh, main things about black ops 4 that have we've seen at least so far in the uh game the camos, oh, another thing, the camos are really cool. I love the aspect of the changing camos when you go on kill streaks, like the diamond. As you've seen in this game, I didn't actually go on the most giant kill streak, but the purples for a 5, the greens for a 10, which I did get the green in this game. Um, the most I've gotten, I, I've gotten the 25, which, what, what color is that? Is that the orange one, or, or is that the one after the orange one? I'm not, I'm not sure. I did, I choked the nuclear. Choked it! I'll, I'll tell you that. But I love those, and on Dark Matter, which is what I am working towards, you get the upgrades from that. That is that is so fun to use. Obviously, I haven't... I, I have picked up somebody's Dark Matter weapon from the ground and gone on a streak with it, but don't have it for myself, so can't exactly say. Anyways, see, see you can see the gun turning purple here, and while I am getting 
absolutely raped from every single side. We we definitely took control of this game after a while, and uh, like like I said, I'm about done talking about the ups and downs of the multiplayer. So we'll just finish it off with the gameplay here, guys. Um, commentate through the last what 30 seconds of this game. Just I was going off. Also. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think are the best things about Black Ops 4. Why you like it, why you may, you may not like it, why you dislike it. Um, what you think needs changing. <coughs> strobe light, strobe light. Um, some more. And uh, any other things that adjust to that. So, gameplay is over here. You can see I went 85 and 13. Definitely should have had less deaths, but you know, that's how it goes. When I'm going real aggressive... Um, with a with a LMG on top of that wasn't even using a Maddox, 85 kills is insane though. So guys, that's about it for this video. If you like the video, be sure to like the video, and I will see you on the next video. That's a lot of videos.